Welcome everybody. So, back with a slight reworking of the old Dexpose stream. That will be back soon. Um, I'm renaming this to Hands On With. Just sort of trying something, not really evaluating or uh, getting into any kind of detail about constructive criticism, anything like that. Just trying something. Today is the turn of Zola. Zola, another static site generator, much like I looked at last week. That was Eleventy. This is Zola. So let's see what we can do. All right. So one of the big promises of Zola is that it's one stop. There are no dependencies. Everything needed in one binary. Just going to say hello to people in the chat room. It's reasonably new, I think. Oh, no, no. It's been running for uh, four years. Um, let's have a look at the open source. It's actually got a reasonable amount of activity, I think. Yep. And it looks like it's going to be relatively simple, but relatively flexible. So let's just dive into getting started and see where we can go from there. Okay. I wonder if this documentation was created with Zola. We'll see. Similar to Hugo Pelican and Jekyll, yeah, written in Rust, uses the Terra template engine. Not heard of that, but similar to templating engines I have heard of. Content is written in common mark, so the standardized markdown. Um, all right. So, looks like we can use Homebrew to install, which is good. Let's do that. Let's probably zoom in a bit there. Actually, I think I did create a... There we go. Look at that. I knew I'd done that. Okay. Font still needs to be bigger. <laughs> Whilst that's doing its thing, if it's just one simple binary, it shouldn't take too long, we hope. Let's see. Pretty good, pretty quick. All right. Now I'm going to switch into my typical side by side view. And let's see. In a site. I wonder if we need to make a folder. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I always like something that has a command line. In fact, most static site generators do. So. <laughs> okay. What is the URL? Um, Localhost right now, I would think. But okay. Do you want to enable SAS? Uh, I think yes is the default. Syntax highlighting, no. Yeah, no, I definitely want syntax highlighting. Do you want to build a search index? Yes. Okay. So let's change into that directory. I'm going to open it up in Visual Studio Code, actually. Uh, okay. zoomed in as well. So we have a config file, which is Tomo, somewhat standard themes, nothing in there, templates, nothing in there, static, it's all pretty empty. Okay. <laughs> all right, start it. I mean, I'm guessing nothing will happen. Oh, no, something will happen apparently. Okay. All right, nice. Okay. Homepage, let's make a homepage. Okay, base HTML. So this is so far quite similar to what we did with um, 11T, I think, in some respects. Um, let's give it a go. 
inside templates. Oops. Okay. I'm using CSS framework called Bulma. I have not heard of that. Uh, not familiar with it. Okay. Is anyone familiar with Bulma? Not spelt the same way as Steve. So that's inside our template. That's our base file for the template and index HTML inside the template directory. So there now template. This is all making pretty much sense so far. And oh no, that's correct. Okay. Index. All right. So yeah, this is anyone who's done anything else with static type generators is pretty familiar territory, I think, here. Um, and I can add some content. So looks like this works in a fairly similar way to Hugo. I even uses Tommel, so <laughs> which has this whole concept of sections and individual pages, which can sometimes be a little confusing actually, but um, it's okay. Oops. okay. All right. Okay, great. And so so it looks like it uses a template that doesn't exist yet. So template, okay, I'm guessing, yeah. So template for the listing and then template for the individual posts, which is interesting. Okay. So it will create those templates. Yeah, so this is the listing. Makes a good sort of sense. I kind of like that actually. That's quite a nice feature. Um, blog all right works pretty much the same way have lots of similar variables here to other static site generators i think yeah let me just turn on um, i forget where it is um word right there we go oh okay all right, fine. I don't know what's going on there. This is not a Visual Studio Code uh, session. So, <laughs> um, do we not create the individual page yet? I guess not. Um, this all makes sense so far. Makes sense so far. Okay. So, what are we expecting to see? I'll go to blog. That was it. Not found. Okay. Uh, maybe we need to restart. See? Okay, good. Makes sense so far. Good. And now we create some posts. So inside blog directory. Oops. First, md. Let's uh, try that code renderer. Um, there we go. I don't know. <laughs> um, title and date will be available. Let's actually maybe make this more contemporary. Thought I had some sort of the day date thing, but I'm not sure if I actually do. Okay. Oh yeah, so now we make this individual blog page. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, we don't have a lot of content here right now, but I'm also guessing that the rendering is pretty, oh, 
Bestie quick. Hmm. Uh, let's fix that in a second. And oh, actually, you probably can't see what I'm seeing. <laughs> My head's in the way. There, I have an error at the moment. Um, because it's a native, I guess. I'm not sure, but it's hard to really um, evaluate performance because there's so little content right now. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, uh, must have just been a, an in-process error. Okay, nice. And nice. And that's sort of working. Wonder what's being used underneath the hood. Uh, oh, something from Bulma. Okay, this framework I've not heard of, but that's okay. Um, and yeah, we can create a second post. Do that. Make, make, make that older, keep the date as it is, I think. Um, and it's newer than the first and we had sets, oh well, it's actually not newer than the first, so I guess that's probably gonna look slightly different for us because I changed the dates. Oh, okay, it does keep crashing every time we update. Okay. Could be, I'm not sure why. Yeah, and I guess if we change that to, I don't know, example. There we go, nice. And that actually did update on the fly. Um, good. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Modify our home to link to our blog posts. Fair enough. I think I probably want to do something a bit more interesting, of course, but let's come to that in a minute. Okay. Yep. And I guess now if we go back to the homepage. Yep. Good. Nice. All right. So what next? Um, hmm. <laughs> what should we try to do? Um, I think I'd like to look at using themes. A little plain at the moment. Plain uh, its repository. Uh oh, okay. This method can sometimes get a little messy, but let's see. Also, have the docs changed? No, that's just me going mad. Okay. Um, to find a theme. Ah, here we go. Um, okay, bootstrap is always a useful one. Oh, I quite like this deep thought one. Let's go for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is the URL. Okay, so let's do the basic step first and then do the others. I get the feeling I probably have to stop the server here, but uh, we'll do that later. Um, okay. But I've got to stop anyway. So change, change directory to themes. Uh, git clone. I have a sticky V key. I'm like, <laughs> lovely. Oh dear. Wow, it's really bad today. I thought I'd fixed it. It's my, uh, no. I don't think I copied it properly. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Uh, Thanks. Good. That's better. Okay. Human error. Not not. Don't blame the keys, Chris. Okay. And this does actually tell us to update the theme variable. Um, I might switch back to the configuration for the theme for now because it has some additional things we can do here. Um, boom, boom, boom. The config file. So I guess we have no. Oh, that's for the theme. I was confused there. So I didn't write any of that. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Deep thought. 
And what else could we do? Favicons. Should we just add everything? Hivor comments. I've never heard of Hivor comments. Um, let's just go for these ones, I think. I don't think we need comments or analytics or anything like that. Pagination. Okay. Interesting, it says social links, but then it's not filled in. Not quite sure what that means. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing if we remove a couple of these, they won't be in there. I don't have a key base. Uh, the rest can oh, stay. Is that me? Oh, no, it is in the in their uh, doc twice. So I should uh, contribute to that. Let's have a look. Um, how? I'm guessing it's going to be in the quick diversion. Let's do make a quick open source contribution whilst we're here. Uh, oh, but it's not in the... Hmm, interesting. It looks like... Uh, <laughs> We're going to go down a bit of a rabbit warren here. Um, let's see. Uh, how do I make a pull request to their docs? Here we go. Um, content themes. Ah, here we go. All right, look at that. All right, we're making. A contribution to Zola. Very good. This is really hands-on. Um, I think the zoom level has dropped significantly there. So let me zoom in a bit for you. Um, there we go. Let's get rid of that. And... Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. We've made a pull request. Nice. We're about to. There we go. Oops. I should probably read the documentation. Uh, I think that's okay. All right. Fantastic. Where were we? Um, I think everything else is done. So, themes. So, no, hang on. I think because I can see two installing tabs, I'm confused. Let's close these ones. Okay. Customizing a theme can be overridden. Okay, well, let's see if it works before we go any further. <laughs> so we need to change upper level. Just going to have a quick drink of water. All right, back. Um, let's see. Okay, looks good. Let's see. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Something's not quite right there. Mm. It doesn't look like anything changed. What did we do wrong? Um, oh. It's interesting. What did we get wrong? Um, I think I, hmm. oh, that's weird. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Um, change direction to themes. We did that. Uh, updated in the config file. We did that. I, 
I think I know what the problem is. But... I think I can see what the problem is. Um, so I'm going to go into the finder because it's probably easier to see. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> One second. I didn't really want to show you all my desktop, that was all. Okay. <laughs> so inside the themes folder, we have basically, there's a lot in there that I don't think we need, I think is a problem. But I'm not entirely sure what we do need. So <laughs> uh, maybe let's just check a different theme. Um, Okay, for example, so this is made by the creator. So I would hope that it was probably the best. No, it's the same. Interesting. Um, hmm. So what is wrong? That's odd. Huh. What? What have we done wrong? Um, we followed the documentation and our theme isn't working. Is it me? No, I don't see anything here. Let's see, I see a, quite a few issues here. I get the feeling that, um, yeah, I think we've overridden it basically because we've followed the tutorial. Um, so, which is reasonable. Let's just remove all of probably the index file, I would think, and the Base, probably let's have a quick look um yeah so maybe we'll keep the other two okay all right let's try again ah okay that's encouraging that we're getting an error actually because it probably implies that we have done something right. So there's a variable that we actually need to fill in. Okay. Uh, let's just close these down and then get back into the top level. So again, it looks like the dock here is, yeah. So let's make another contribution in a minute. Let's just get this working first. So in fact, I think we should just take all of this section basically. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, where did it start from? We started from here. Good. Uh, yeah. huh. All right. I think we've got a few contributions we can make here. <laughs> okay. All right, let's just check this works first. It does. Obviously, we now don't have our, well, we can actually go, oh, it's deep. it is actually deep thought from, ooh, where is that from? I can't remember which hitchhikers that is from. But, so I'm guessing, yeah, so it does pull in the same formatting. Yeah, nice. 
if we look at the code, yeah, uh, the font's a bit weird, but okay. But let's go back and fix a few things. Let's make a few pull requests here. So first, let's uh, let's make that change here. Add those quote marks. Being and pasting. I'm also wondering because it sort of feels like it doesn't really mention that you actually need these um, settings, but uh, I don't know. That might just be me not understanding enough <laughs> uh, right now of the kind of nature of the project. But, and then also let's go in and update um, this in the other repository again, the changes we, oops, we already made. It's not quite what I wanted to do. Nice to meet you, but I wanted to go back to the Zola docs. I know I got to them much quicker last time. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's our pull request. Uh, I think we'll just work on this one and then yeah. Um, and do, do, do. Let's just take in that and uh, this is what we want. We'll update the comment for the pull request. Um, and it's, hmm. what the, something. <laughs> okay. All right, that's weird. Um, let's just make the new changes, maybe. No, the uh, docs for the deep thought um, theme add an out of date config example which resulted in the theme not working correctly. What the? Okay, this is very strange. <laughs> I'm not sure if... <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. Let's not worry too much about going down that rabbit warren. Um, okay, where were we? So we changed a theme and you can override files in a Pretty standard way there. Okay, good. Um, what else? Image processing. That was something we struggled with last week for 
11 thing. So maybe let's have a look at that. Ah, brilliant. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Um, and we just add it into the template code as well as ensure. Ah, actually, let's go back a step because I've just realized something. So Zola has short code, much like Hugo. I think I've zoomed out too much. Um, there we go. Um, which are kind of, oh, and also WordPress. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's actually a good point. Um, which you can kind of replace custom nested common HTML with uh, little short codes instead. Um, so I'm guessing there are default ones. What I'm just wondering is how I then use them. So you put them in curly brackets. Okay. So let's go back to the image processing. Okay. So we need an image first, but let's, um, would make sense relative to the content directory. Okay. So let's make an images folder. I think I just made an images file accidentally. Okay. Fix that. Let's get ourselves an image. Um, What exactly? I think I've got a bunch of random screenshots here. Uh, sometimes trying to find image. Actually, I've got a whole set of um, weird images in here. Um, no, these are. I should get a folder of default images just to work with this sort of stuff. Um, that'll do. I think this is going to be a very strange image to use, but whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's give it a slightly better name. Okay. And now, where were we? So, inside our first blog post. Let's pop this in. So relative to, and do we need, I guess we need quote marks. Doesn't specify, but would make sense, I suppose. Let's see. Um, what did I call it? Uh, Okay, and I think we will scale. Okay, this is the kind of thing I generally like. So let's do something like this. It also changed the quality and the format. That's quite cool. I'm guessing it's using image magic or something like that under the hood. Let's, oops, there. Nice. Okay. Let's see how that works. So the first post. Hmm, okay. I've done something wrong there. Um, Um, hmm. What do we have wrong? Um, hmm. Ah, okay. You still need image source in there. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So you could also then add 
other things like styles and stuff if you wanted to, I suppose. Good. Um, still not 100% sure about the path needed. Let's just single quote that. I get the feeling maybe we don't need the path. But let's just see. Why is that? Oh, it's just my spelling checker kicking in. Okay. Let's see. Huh. Still quite right. Mm. Okay, hang on. A resize image is a built in Terra global function. Can be used. Ah. I think I understand that. I think I'm just going to dive into the documentation to see it in the raw, assuming that they're using um, Zola to generate the docs. Let's see. Um, processing. Let's see. Okay, that kind of looks like what we've done so far. Um, so what did I misunderstand? Uh, so short codes. So you do need it in there. Huh. Okay, it seems strange, but okay, it's fine. If it works, that's still quite a cool feature to have. So, um, image, not HTML. All right, and then we don't need so let's just undo that. Okay. Let's just redo it. Although it looks like maybe it's picked up. I'm not sure about the image generation. No. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Not quite sure what I'm missing here. Um, think no uh, uh. hmm not entirely sure what um we've missed uh, which is a shame this built-in terror global function thing is something I feel like I should understand more oh templating engine okay uh, that seems to imply that it's something really stupid I've done, I'm sure. Page get section, get URL. Size is an image. <laughs> I don't know what I've got wrong here. Um, hmm. Would be a nice thing to get working. Uh, let's 
I might just jump into the finder again quickly, see if there's something strange with my file structure I am missing. Although I'd expect maybe an error instead. The path of the source image relative to the content directory in the directory structure. So that should be correct, I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hmm, that's a shame. A bit more looks like it's just not processing it at all. And as far as I can see from those files here, it's basically the same thing, I think. Uh, these files are local. Could be worth just trying that very quickly. Let's see. So, let's just put it there and move the file into there. No, it's just not rendering it. Um, hmm. Oh well, that's a shame. Um, that would have been quite cool to get that to work. Anyway, okay. Um, not quite sure what I've gone wrong. Okay, I'm not sure. All right, well, let's have a quick look at what else we have before we wrap up here. So a lot of the standard kind of um, features of a static site generator, short codes, if I could get them to work is quite cool. Um, a lot of uh, good config is a lot of borrowed from all sorts of various sources here to make something quite good. It's quite fast. As far as I can tell, we're not doing very much. Um, sections and pages work sort of like Hugo do, but actually look like we have more um, options to organize. I've often found the way Hugo organizes can be sometimes quite confusing. Um, I was wondering if that is... Ah, uh, looks like there's some sort of internal linking there, which I've only ever seen in uh, DocFX before, which is a somewhat obscure static site generator, which is quite cool. Uh, table of contents. Okay, oh, it's not, it's the sort of standard looping way. Syntax highlighting, oh, that's nice. Okay, already saw. You can enable and disable. Taxonomies are, uh, okay. You can, that's kind of useful. If you could, ex add them in an external file that could be interesting for integration search we saw i'm guessing there yeah, it's always using luna and elastic it's nice so luna is quite popular in the static site world elastic is elastic search uh, so combining the two is quite cool sas image processing multilingual um okay so with file extensions that's quite nice um feeds good okay there's some nice stuff here i don't know how big the community is um not as big as some others but it's reasonably big it's reasonably active um like some reasonable community, a uh, reasonable amount of versions. So I guess it's one to look out for. I can't actually quite remember how I came across it, but um, I did. <laughs> and there's some interesting examples here. Um, I, I, no, I don't know. It looks like it does integrate with Netlify. I saw whether it's sort of a native integration or some kind of custom integration. Let's see. Um, yeah, well, actually, now I come to think of it, you can basically, I'm guessing it's available in the build image. So it must be 
native, which is pretty cool too. Um, link, oh, link checker. I didn't come across that, but that is super useful. I don't know what Cobalt is, but it doesn't look like it has many features. Um, search by default. I pretty sure. Maybe it's themes in Hugo that I'd search. Um, breadcrumbs. Again, I think that's in themes, but by default, custom output formats. So if you don't want custom output formats, then not so useful. Um, Hugo, I'm, not, I'm comparing to Hugo just because it reminds me the most of Hugo, uh, also has different uh, content formats, which actually I didn't really set myself. So <laughs> so, so I might uh, even look at that myself in a separate, uh, separate video. But... I think it's quite interesting. Um, I'll figure out what's going on with my randomly lost pull request there. Let's just zoom back out again a little bit and get that there. So that was Zola. You can go to getzola.org and uh, give it a go yourself, especially if you like Rust and you're in the Rust ecosystem, you might find it quite useful for you. So that was my first hands-on stream. Pretty similar to what I was doing before with Expose but just in a slightly different format and a slightly different vibe. If you've enjoyed what you have seen, join my slowly increasing uh, subscribers on YouTube or Twitch. The new Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash hands on with. If you were previously a subscriber on Dexpose, you're already there. Uh, and christianchiller.com, or you can tweet at me at Chris Chinch. I'd love to hear your feedback and suggestions for future projects to get my hands on with. So until next time, 